So the other day I went for a walk. When suddenly I noticed something. So beautiful. みなさん、こんばんは。私はマッシュウ日本です。今日一緒に新しい日本酒を飲みましょう。Hello everyone, this is Matthew in Nihon coming to you with yet another Nihon Shu review. Today I'm reviewing a very special Nihon Shu. This Nihon Shu was made in Nada by Shochiku by Shiraka Begura. I know it's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, it is a Sagagura owned by Takara Shuzo, which was founded in 1842 and now is expanded into a general empire of osake or、uh, alcohol.、Uh, they sell a wide variety of different drinks.、Um, now, this particular drink is called Mio. Mio. Is the Japanese word for sea foam that just churned up in the wake of any ship going out to sea. And as you can see by the presentation, it's got that nice blue sea foam bubbly quality that just promises a lot of fun.、Um, now, this has fallen a solid negative 70 on. Nihon Shu Do, or the、uh, sake meter that I've talked to you about before, which means that this is a very sweet Nihon Shu.、Uh, its alcohol level is at 5%, and it's purportedly got a very fruity aroma. And the sakakura in question highly recommends it be served cold, and who am I to argue? Now, because this is a very sweet Nihon Shu, it's recommended that you pair it with foods that are either acidic or savory, which is exactly what I am going to do. Now, today the foods that I've chosen to pair with the Mio are Mizuika no o sashimi, a kind of squid. And then over here we have Yasai itame. A kind of stir fried vegetables with a little bit of pork. And we finish with a true Japanese classic, gyoza. And now, without further ado, let's begin the pour. Now, today I'm not going to be using the usual cup that I use, partially because this is a sparkling Nihonshu. It doesn't seem like it would fit well in a traditional cup or a traditional pitcher.、Um, also, sometimes drinking out of a wine glass can help bring out more of the, the notes and complexity of the Nihonshu in question. So let's give this a try. You definitely see a lot of fizzing going on in there. Oh, they weren't kidding about those、um, fruity notes. 
almost immediately I'm kind of getting an interesting combination of pear and kiwi that's fascinating. Oh, when I'm getting an instant, almost plum, like a hint of plum, a hint of pear, some kind of an almost berry quality. Oh, this is nice. Mm. I could definitely see why women prefer it. Oh, this is, this is a bottle you want to pull out for New Year's Eve. Or when you just want to have a nice celebration of some kind, because this is easy to drink. Wow. Hmm. This is smooth. It is dangerous. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I would swear I was drinking like a, a really flavorful, fruity Sprite of some kind. It is, you almost can't tell that there's alcohol in it at all. Mm. Oh, it just rolls right off the tongue. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> that is a nice flavor. So let's go ahead and see um, how it pairs with different foods. Uh, let's go with some sashimi first. Mm. Hmm. That's a very interesting flavor. Quite good. Very clean in its own way. Oh, it doesn't really change the flavor of the Mio in any way, but it's just... Oh, it's, like, it's almost like just kind of the cream on top. You get this, this nice... Uh, flavor from the sashimi, which is just followed by just, yeah, such a wonderfully warm and fuzzy sensation afterwards. In a weird way, it's sort of like the wave hitting you and then being followed up by this wonderful foamy sensation. I see why they named it after the ocean. Mm. That was nice. That was very, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and go for the gyoza. Mm. Oh, oh, that's kind of nice. I guess it's, it's hard to describe. It's like, um, I mean, this is a dessert wine, so it's like eating a burger followed by a really delicious ice cream or, mm. but you're getting it in a very short span of time so just just one gyoza followed by a sip of that and it's like a full course meal that was really good mm. this is a fun <laughs> this is a fun nihonshu let's go for uh some of the stir fry i was told that vegetables would probably go pretty well with this mm. Oh, okay, the vegetables, like the, the stir-fried vegetables really brought out the pear, the pear qualities of the meal. That was really, that was quite tasty. 
Mm. Again, you, you get... I mean, I definitely stand by the idea of a hearty meal or uh, savory foods with sweet. They just complement each other. They, they interact and work together so well. Because, mm, that was that was that was a fun trip. <laughs> mm. In fact, I think I'm going to take that trip again. This is like, I mean, I, I guess the way I could describe this, it's like eating a barbecue, like doing a barbecue and then just eating a fresh pear afterwards. Mm. Oh yeah, that is exactly what it's like. Mm. That's I love I love that. When you when you get a good Nihon shoe and it's it's like just every bite is telling you a story. It is Oh, this is why I love Nihon shoe. I have never gotten this sensation with whiskey, with wine. I mean, no offense to the fans of wine out there. I do enjoy a good wine. I enjoy good whiskey, but you don't get the same sensation from those that you do from Nihonshu. I, oh, this is just the life. Mina <laughs> san, kampai. Mm. So, with that done, it's time to issue some thanks. Um, of course, as I mentioned before, sometimes I have to translate, sometimes I have to get specific information because there's a lot about uh, Japanese Nihonshu or, well, just Nihonshu in Japan in general that is more complex than even I knew. I, I mean, I've been drinking Nihonshu for over 10 years, but there is so much culture and so much history that it takes time and, and I'm learning as I go. So uh, I've been getting help from a number of people. So today I wish to thank, uh, I'm sorry, I cannot remember, right, well, I just can't pronounce his name. The only name I have was in Korean, but this nice Korean gentleman who helped do some translation work for me, thank you very much. Um, I also want to thank I'm DJ. Uh, I would like to thank Yuko, Yuka, and I would like to thank everybody who uh, have joined my new group, the Nihonshu Nation. They've given me a lot of information. They've been very supportive and they're a lot of fun to talk to. And I want to thank you, my viewers. I couldn't, you know, keep making these series if I didn't, wasn't getting those likes. And I, was, if I wasn't getting the feedback and support that you've been giving me. I very much appreciate it. So to all of you, Hontoni Domo Aregato Gazaimashta. And uh, with that, I think we're about at the end of our video here. Um, so please, if you like my content, click like, hit subscribe, and make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you can get notified every time a new video comes out. I am working hard to improve uh, to improve on my editing to get the sound quality and hopefully the picture quality up um and yeah so uh with that aside just always always remember to be willing to go beyond the horizon and to try new things there are always surprises there's always something new to learn and it really is worth it so until my next review, Minasan, Kyotsukete Kurasai. Take care of yourselves. Be safe, especially now. And I will catch you in the next video. Minasan, Konnichiwa. Kyo, Fukuoka Day. I thank you desu ne. Hello, everyone. It's a beautiful day here in Fukuoka. And with this beautiful day comes great news. The Matthew and Nihon channel officially has its first friend. Now, as far as I know, I am the first foreign Nihonshu reviewer on YouTube, but there are several Japanese reviewers, and this channel is no exception. Its name is Nihonshu TV, 
and they offer very high quality, clear, detailed explanations as to how to drink Nihonshu, uh, which styles of Nihonshu are amazing, and they also make a great effort to reach out to foreigners and try to encourage foreign interest in Nihonshu. I will tell you, they do speak Japanese fairly exclusively, but the quality is amazing, and if you're interested in Nihonshu, I strongly recommend you check them out, especially if you can understand Japanese. So, if you want to give them a try, please go ahead, click the link in the description below and on the video itself. And until next time, take care everyone.